give us any more detail on what, what, what happened with JC? Yeah, JC had a procedure in New York um, with Dr. O'Malley on his ankle, a very minor uh, procedure and more for comfort um, more than anything. It's not a structural problem. Um, there's no injury so to speak. Um, that's why he didn't miss practice. This is just more about comfort moving forward and just him um, feeling his best uh, overall. And, um, you know, he'll be back here shortly. So if it's not injury related, why, why wait that, until now to have the surgery versus earlier in the off season? Like there's after he signed there's him? several. Well, this it only came up like two and a half weeks ago when he started to feel it in practice a little bit. Didn't prohibit him from practicing. Practiced full speed. Went against the Cowboys full speed. Played beautifully. Um, it's really more of a comfort level when he will decelerate at times and um, you know it's just more about his peace of mind moving forward um, to do it now and um, that's what you know he wanted to do and we supported that and um, you know again he you know tried to you know rehab um, part of it and then you know an injection and he just you know just felt like if we get this thing done that um, he's going to be full speed and there's no turning back. Uh, and again, I can't state it enough. There's not an injury um, with his ankle. So it initially popped up at some point. Like two and a half weeks ago. Okay. Two and a half weeks ago. Do, do you know what was performed exactly what it's called? Or? I do not. Just it's a very minor procedure. And it's really more just about the wound healing. And then as soon as the wound heals, he'll be out of practice. If, so, no, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to ask, in his absence, who will you kind of look to to step up there? Yeah, we have three corners who... Uh, we think are starting caliber players, Mike Asante and Bryce, and um, those guys will be starting in, in 5DB type packages until further notice. And then when we get JC back soon, um, he'll be out there. How, how worrisome is it when you guys open the season with two division games off the bat against? Not at all. We've played with all three of those guys. We have a lot of confidence in all three of those guys. Those guys are all quality players who know our defense inside and out, who have all made big plays throughout their careers, throughout training camp. They're all playing at a high level. They've all improved a lot. And, um, you know, and again, it's a team game, you know. And so those guys have, have all improved a lot, though, Lindsey. And, um, you know, we're, we're going to keep, you know, improving as a defense. And, and those three guys are going to do um, what they've done every day since they've been here. You guys put a, a two- to four-week timetable on it. Is there, are you optimistic that you'll get him back before the season? Or is it sort of is yeah, it cloudy? Yeah, so all it, all, it, all it depends on is how fast a wound heals. So when a wound heals, he'll be out there. How quickly a wound heals. So anyone that's ever had a procedure like that, if the wound heals quickly, it could be on the low side. If it takes a little bit of time, it could be the high side. But this is a minor procedure. And, um, you know, he'll be back uh, somewhere in that time frame. Um, go ahead, Joe. No, um, I told you guys we'll, we'll announce our starters when we're ready, um, when we feel like we've made that decision um, and we're not there yet. And when we are, we'll make sure that we let you guys know. Okay. How, mu how much are you looking forward to the young guys kind of bouncing back from the Cowboys game and, and kind of proving themselves in the final? Yeah, it's important. It's important that we go out there and, and play well and guys that – um, you know, that, that, that had a tough night against Dallas or, or a tough night in the first night against the Rams, that they're able to bounce back and that we keep building on our practices, keep building on our games. Uh, and it's going to be, you know, it's our first road game uh, as a team. Uh, so, you know, you add that element to it and going against a good team like New Orleans, uh, it'll, be a, it'll be a good game for our guys. Is there any chance we see uh, Kenneth in the game on Friday? No. Week one, he's, he said he believes he'll be ready to go. Is there going to be any snap counter restrictions in wrapping him into things? I think it just depends on how he does the next you know two or three weeks. But look good at practice yesterday. He'll be out there more today. I'm um, really excited to have him back. He looks really good. And he's got the right mindset. And um, we're just going to see how it goes the next three weeks. But, I mean, I definitely think he's going to play in that game for sure. How much will just depend on how he ramps up here in the next three weeks. Palmer making progress. Yeah, he's cleared the protocol uh, today, and he will be out there for individual. You guys kept uh, four tight ends on the roster last year. Obviously, Steven Anderson was doing a bunch of different things, mm -hmm. playing some fullback as well. Are you guys you know, comfortable with three this year? Do you want to keep four just because of how much you guys like to use tight ends? I know you talked a lot about just yeah. the mismatches they pose. Yeah, Daniel, I think um, a lot's going to depend here in the next two weeks of um, you know how these practices shape out this week and then how it shakes out in the game and then what's available within the league you know, how we, what we feel like fits our team best. Um, I think that determination always depends on, 
you know, the tight end spot and then your fullback spot, you know, because fullbacks and tight ends are, can be used similarly. You know, I think Steven was able to do a lot of the two-back responsibility for us last season, which was a big important role for him uh, and special teams. So we're just going to see how that takes shape, um, the back half of the tight end position and then the fullback position. And, um, and, then, and then again, looking at the league too. How do you feel like Jasir has developed? Not well, not just as, on defense, but also, I mean, he play, made a play at Gunner on punt just as a special teams contributor. Yeah, Ja, ja has really proven to be a, a really versatile defensive back. Uh, we really like coaching him. He's got good size for the position. Uh, we really feel like he's a defensive back that he can play a lot of different places, corner and then some of the sub roles, you know, dime money and, um, you know, sub star. So, uh, and then on special teams, he, you know, he's got enough speed to be an effective gunner. Uh, he's a good tackler. Uh, he's a good contact player as a defensive back. You know, he's got a sturdy body. He's like a 190 plus guy, so he's he's strong. Um, we really like coaching him, and uh, he's improved a lot for us. And um, he's shown that he can hold his own, and um, we're glad we drafted him.